hey you, welcome in this video. It's me, Laura. I'm here to help you enter a universe, the fashion and beauty universe. I will prove to you that you don't need to have student loans in order to break into this industry. I have a bachelor in English, and yes, I have never studied beauty nor fashion. But don't get me wrong, the beauty sphere keeps no secrets from me. I have been able to be an intern for a French online magazine as a beauty writer. Yes, to do my dream job, I have been able to gain experience to write for millions of women and to move into the fashion capital of the world. Hey everyone, if you're here, it's because you're interested about the world of beauty and journalism. So I hope you guys are ready to talk about the beauty sphere. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how I became a beauty writer intern uh, without having a degree in journalism nor in beauty. So I have my drink with me, my computer, and I'm going to answer all of the questions that you guys ask me on Instagram. So let's go. Now we can start. So the first question that I had was, how did you find your internship? So that's a great story, actually. Uh, so I found this internship on Instagram. Uh, so I I spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time on Instagram, and I was just taking a break after applying to a lot of job offers and even spontaneous applications. I was taking a break and I was scrolling down on Instagram and I found this story of a girl who used to work in the company I uh, got my internship in. She just posted a job offer saying that they were looking for a beauty writer intern. So I just sent my resume, did a one hour interview and in six days I got the job. So um, you will need a lot of patience really it's really important to find your dream job and sometimes you'll find an opportunity when you're not even looking for it if you want to work in the fashion and beauty industry you have a lot of websites that can help you um, uh, such as fashionjobs.com fashionworky.com but I really advise you to uh, look for a website specifically for the country you want to work in so the second question that I had was what do you do on a daily basis so I really loved waking up every morning to go to work, really. I enjoyed every second of my experience there. So I started all of my days with the beauty news. So it's a short article, something exciting that I don't take hours of writing. And it could be about a new makeup collaboration or just um, someone who invented a new beauty routine or something like that. Then I start to write articles for the following days. Uh, according to the editorial line, of course, it's really important. So I also had video shootings twice a week and also sometimes I got to do interviews. So I had the chance to interview the amazing Zara Larson and the actress uh, Chloe Grace Moritz. I also had to make a selection of beauty products and test them for a video shooting called Beauty Crush. I had the chance to write for campaigns like Huda Beauty for example and do photo shootings for the article according to the brand's universe. With Covid I didn't get the chance to do beauty events and press day and everything uh, outside of the office but it was so much fun but you guys will be able to do that after the pandemic of course. Uh, you'll have so many fun days. So my third question was, did you have a lot of responsibility? As I said, I had the chance to interview celebrities, to be responsible for a video shooting, a one video shooting beauty crush. Um, so I had a lot of responsibilities. I didn't feel like I was an intern at all. My co-workers were amazing with me and we were like a big team helping each other all the time for everything. In an editorial board, you will have to work closely with your co-workers and especially with the commercial team um, and not only with just the writers. Communication is key. And the fourth question that I got was, what do you need in order to work in this industry? 
That's a great question actually. To work in this industry, you'll need some nerves, really. You need to trust yourself, know your worth. Everything is possible as long as you work hard for it and you never give up. Okay, so if you don't have a degree in journalism, or in beauty or in fashion, you can still enter this industry, really. If you don't have a degree in beauty, journalism, fashion, you need self-taught experience. Start a blog, write a lot, uh, educate yourself, read books, and by books I don't mean those ones. Uh, they're good, but not good enough. Start an online course, do all of those things in order to break into the fashion industry. So you need to understand that you don't need a degree to work in fashion or beauty. You just really need passion, self-taught experience, and to show your motivation to the recruiter. Just keep swimming, never give up, and you reach all of your dreams in life. But I hope I helped you guys a lot with those questions. So I'll see you in another video and don't forget to take care of you.